Hey, I'm Matt Blaster. I'm here at the 2024 International Builders Show, here with my partner, the Propane Education and Research Council, otherwise known as PERC, and I'm here to see the latest innovations that use propane and how they are revolutionizing the building industry. So let's check it out. How you doing, Matt Blaschow? Hi, right, Mark Bendis. Mark Bendis, okay. So you got your name. What is the name of your company? All right, so my company is Bendis Manufacturing. So this is awesome, and I love this product because you are making and you are taking the power of something like propane, yep. all right, using it to boost the home, make it more energy efficient, and yes. really revolutionizing what it is to have a heat pump. A heat pump is good as long as the temperatures are conducive of transferring that heat. Mm -hmm. As soon as it starts getting cold outside, you start losing efficiency on the heat pump, mm -hmm. you start losing deliverability, and the home is calling for more heat. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the heat pump starts doing less and electric strip heat kicks in. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever seen electric strip heat. It mm -hmm. looks like uh, basically giant toaster coils. Mm -hmm. It's the equivalent of heating your home with a hair dryer at that point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so step into this. Show me, so yes. show me how it works. Again. When there's a call for heat from the, therm the wall thermostat, mm -hmm. it sends a signal to the controller. Mm -hmm. the controller then activates the water system to start circulating water into the heat exchanger that's built inside the aqua coil. Mm -hmm. Air is blowing from the air handler through that, and now, you're having, now you have radiator quality heat through your central air duct. What I love about it, it's capturing energy that's already being made by your boiler, by your hot water heater, yep. and then it's using it to heat the home. It's giving the appliance two jobs. Normally your water heater would just supply hot water to the home. Mm -hmm. Now it's supplying hot water to the home and it's also supplying space heating. Yeah, and, and being totally efficient, taking all of the energy in your house yeah. and making sure that it's being used in some capacity to make it comfortable. Propane is actually one of the cleanest uh, fuels that you can use that is independent of any pipelines or grids or any. So it's portable, it can be used everywhere. It also burns cleaner than other gases. Mm -hmm. And now with the advances in, re in um, renewable propane, they're even working towards getting to uh, carbon net neutral. I love the innovation. I know people at home are going to appreciate the comfort and efficiency of this incredible innovation that you came up with. And now I'm you. off to see some incredible propane innovations at the rest of the show. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. How's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Matt Blashaw. Kevin Morgan. Kevin Morgan. All right. Who do you work for? I work for Renai America. What sets Renai apart from the rest? Renai has the only, to date, 98% efficient tankless water heater on the market. So a consumer, if they use 98% of that, they're only hit 2% that's going to go to some other cost other than to heat their water. Wow. This also has smart cert technology. It will remember that you took a shower at 7 a.m. and come on at 530. It, it, that water is getting delivered within seconds, right? Seconds. S seconds, right? And that's what a lot of people, especially with hot water, tankless hot water right. systems, they say, well, it's got to heat it, it's got to come. Not, not at all. That's not Not at case. all. It's point of use. So as you turn your water on, it's giving you hot water, but only when you're asking for it. So, um, and so how does this work seamlessly and beautifully with propane? With propane, because it's gas agnostic, it'll run at 199,000 BTUs, and it modulates up as it goes. Mm -hmm doesn't matter what the gas type is, but propane especially, it loves propane. Mm -hmm. So it'll utilize propane and be able to provide endless hot water for consumers' home, especially if you're doing other things in the home like cooktops, you got your fireplaces, oh, you yeah. got dryers. All of that works with this unit. Amazing, truly amazing. All right, Thank man. you so much. Thank Good you so much. You. Appreciate yep. you stopping. How you doing, Matt Blashaw? Hi, Ed Lieberman with Upstar Power. Nice to meet you. All right, got your name, got your company. Now tell me what this sleek looking beautiful box on the wall is. What we have here is an upgen powered generator with fuel cell technology. Awesome. Okay. A revolutionary new energy appliance. So fuel cell has been around for how many years? Uh, a couple hundred years. A couple hundred years. So in a very like elementary kind of type way, explain to me what fuel cell is. Fantastic. So a fuel cell is a cross between a generator and a battery. Okay. It's like a battery in that it's a chemical reaction. You're chemically converting fuel into electricity. But it's like a generator in that you have to keep adding fuel for it to continue to operate. As long as you have fuel, 
like Perk's propane, mm -hmm. it continues to operate to the extent of the fuel that you have available. Propane is great because it's a stored fuel. Sometimes with natural gas, you have tr problems with the gas being readily available. Propane you have at your home, and it's readily available right when you need it. Okay, so, so can this power an entire house? This system is designed for 30 kilowatt hours a day, which okay. is what the Department of Energy defines as a standard home. Okay. Some homes we put a little extra battery, a little extra solar. Some homes might need two fuel cells. Okay. But absolutely can can power the average home. So you pop open the hood, and this what is, is this? this is the magic behind Explain the box. Explain to me this what's, what's going, going on. on. Yeah, this is amazing. So real quick, you have fuel going in, mm -hmm. you have air going in, okay. you have electricity coming out and you have air coming out. Those are the only four accesses to the system. What I love about this is that all of this, you would think would take up, you know, a huge space. This is so compact and powerful, just in this little box. Power plant in your pocket. Power plant in your pocket. This is, you got them all day. <laughs> nice talking to you, brother. Hey, there you are. Hey. How you yeah, doing? Matt, doing well. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Your name, give me your name am, and the company. I am Travis Geyser with Navian, Navian. and uh, we are here with our hydro furnace. So that's okay. I was looking for. It. I mean, this I looks know. high tech. Oh, I was like, me. is that the inside of a furnace, or is this like the next generation space fighter? Well, <laughs> yes and no, Matt. Yeah. We know the best way to heat a structure mm -hmm. is using gas, okay. right? Whether that's propane mm -hmm. or natural gas. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. that's what we've got. We have found the way, you know, that's space age technology, mm -hmm. fill this up with water, tap okay. water. That water is then pumped into our heat exchanger, stainless steel heat exchanger on that okay. side of it. That heats the water, okay? okay? Now that water is then going through our hydronic coil. Gotcha. Now, from that standpoint, we heat that water. Our ECM blower motor, our full featured ECM, so it, it ramps up its variable speed, not right. just the standard with the five. Uh, variable speed is what you want. So from a serviceability standpoint, from an industry standpoint, it's easy. Got we it. know with our competitors that that's been a hurdle on the side from a technician standpoint. They may like the product, but the serviceability isn't there yeah. because there's some, I have to push some buttons yeah. and then I have to wait. Well, and the codes that come up and like, what is that code and you know where what? is that code? Matt, I and, mean, it's and crazy. You're, not only do we give a code on the screen in full English, mm -hmm. but it gives you a subcode. So let's say in the unlikely event that this doesn't fire, mm -hmm. it's gonna say fail to ignite, and then it's gonna tell you why. Awesome. Matt, always a pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. All right, awesome stuff. How you doing? Matt, how are you? Good to meet you, good to meet good you. Me. So give me your full name. Jason Hamachek. All right, what's, what company are you with? Earth Core and Ice Cream Fireplaces. Now when it is cold outside, this is the booth to be in. <laughs> Absolutely. It is kicking heat. Absolutely, yeah. so thank you. So Earth Core and Ice Cream Fireplaces mm -hmm. are all manufactured out of Icelandic pumice. Okay. So we import raw pumice from Iceland mm -hmm. to our factory up in Chesapeake, Virginia. We bring that in by the boatload and manufacture it into these proprietary blocks that all fit and connect together with fire clay and mortar uh, to create the fireplace that you see behind them. Tell me about the innovation behind it. So what you see here is the Earth Core, by, or the Isochron by Earth Core, mm -hmm. uh, 60 inch vent free fireplace. Okay. So believe it or not, this fireplace has no venting mechanism above it. Okay, so come a contractor, I always think, okay, so what is my combustibles, right? What is my clearance behind it? You're sure. saying zero. So the box, yeah. all around the box, framing and all that, zero clearance to combustibles. And, and, and just to explain, so usually when you get one of these inserts, right? I, it's a metal insert. No. Well, typically. Typically, yeah, usually. Yes. Usually what you get is a metal insert. Correct. With you, the reason that there's zero clearance is because this is made of that pumice, that cementaceous material. So this is forged inside of a volcano. Awesome. And it's made from fire mm. for fire. That, that's what I absolutely love about it. So not only the efficiency, the beauty is incredible, but also you're taking our, our precious resources, right? Like absolutely. propane, and you are harnessing all of the energy and putting it back in to make your home comfortable. And I think that's one of the best innovations. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. So yeah. as you can tell, the Icelandic pumice and the fire brick that line this fireplace, mm -hmm. like I said, is extremely refractive. 
Mm. So you're not losing any of that energy like you would with a metal box, absorbing that yeah. and putting it into the wall cavity behind here. Yeah. But that's awesome because I can, you can see, you'd feel that power of that propane coming through this fireplace with your technology, your innovation. It's absolutely fantastic. Awesome, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much, man. Beautiful stuff. Wow, there are so many incredible propane appliances at this year's show, so make sure you guys head over to propane.com, sign up for their Build with Propane newsletter. You will find all of the great innovations and builder trends when it comes to using propane. And I hope to see you guys next year.